Hello class, today we're going to go ahead and cover section 12.2. It's on permutations and combinations. So let's look at this first example. When the manager of a softball team fills out her team's lineup card before the game, the order in which she fills in the names is important because it determines the order in which the players will bat. Suppose she has seven possible players in mind for the top four spots in the lineup. Using the fundamental counting principle, how many ways can she assign players to the top four spots? Well, if I have my top four spots, for my first spot, I have seven people to choose from. After I select that person, I only have six people to choose from for the next spot, five for the spot after that, and four for the spot after that. So if I go ahead and multiply these numbers together, you get 840 ways that she could make the lineup for those first four spots. <clears throat> so this is an example of a permutation. Uh, it's when a group of objects or people are, in range, are arranged in a certain order. Um, the arrangement is called a permutation. Permutation is important. Sorry, permutation. It, with permutation, order is important. Um, so in this case, if I have A and B, that is different from then B and A. Okay. Um, so the number of permutations of n distinct objects taken R at a time is given by... Um, this, should, this, this shows that it's a permutation, n objects, at r at a time. And here is our equation that we use. It is n factorial, and then it's n minus r factorial. And then if you just look, it says remember what a factorial is. Um, so example, it says 7 factorial is every number below it multiplied together. So 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, that is 7 factorial. Um, another way that you can see this written is if I have an N, then a P, then an R. Um, on your calculator, it is shown like that. Um, and then just a little reminder um, that if I have 0 factorial, that is the same as 1. Um, and if you want to find the factorial button on your key and you have a TI-84, 83, um, just so you know, it's under the math button. Then you arrow over to where it says PRB, which stands for probability. And then underneath there, there should be a 4 with a factorial or an exclamation point. Um, if you need help finding it on the other calculators, just let me know tomorrow in class. So here is an example. There are 10 finalists in a figure skating competition. How many ways can gold, silver, and bronze medals be awarded? So I have my formula for permutation. Um, we're arranging these order, these skaters, in first, second, and third. So that's why this one is a permutation. Um, so order overall matters. Sally winning the gold, Susie winning the silver, and Judy winning the bronze is different than Judy winning the gold, Sally winning the silver, and Susie winning the bronze. So that's why this one is a permutation. So let's go ahead and solve this one, keeping our formula out there. Um, we have the permutation, and so we have n items. How many items? Well, there's 10 people, and they're being arranged in three ways, gold, silver, and bronze. And once again, if you look on your calculator, 10p3, that is the same thing. And so let's fill it in. It's 10 factorial all over n minus r, so 10 minus 3 factorial. So I do what's inside the parentheses first. And so I would have 7 factorial. And then if I were to break it down, remember 10 factorial is everything below it being multiplied together. And 7 factorial is everything below that being multiplied together. One thing that we can notice is 7 over 7 is simplifies to 1, 6 over 6. And the same with basically the rest of these. So my permutation is really 10 times 9 times 8. And this would give me that there are 720 ways to choose the top three winners in order of gold, silver, and bronze. Okay. A newspaper has nine reporters available to cover four different stories. How many ways can the reporters be assigned to cover the stories? Well nine reporters, and we are arranging them in four different ways. Um, so order matters. So this one would be um, 9P4 
four, or if you want to write it like this, either way is fine. So it would be my n is 9, so 9 factorial all over 9 minus 4 factorial. So I have 9 factorial over 5 factorial. I don't want to go ahead and write everything out like I did on the last time. So one way to look at it is it's really 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial, because 5 factorial would be everything from 5 down to 1 multiplied together. All over 5 factorial, notice 5 factorials will cancel. So I really just have 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. And so when I multiply that together, there's 3,024 ways to assign those stories. Example three, how many different ways can the letters of the word geometry be arranged? So in this case, I would say, well, there's how many different letters? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight different letters, um, and I'm arranging them in eight ways. So eight, P, eight. Eight letters arranged eight ways. Um, so it would be eight factorial all over eight minus eight factorial. So I have 8 factorial over 0 factorial, and I re told you earlier that 0 factorial is 1. So it's really 8 factorial over 1. So 8 factorial. And this is where finding that factorial key on your calculator will be helpful, because you can just type 8 and then factorial. And when you do that, you get 40,320. Okay. But here's the problem with this. Do you guys notice how there's repeats? There's an E and an E. So there's two E's. So we have some repeats. So if there's a repeat, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and divide out by how many there are repeats um, factorial. So we have repeats of, we have two E's. Okay. So what I would do is take my answer from above, which is 8 factorial, and since there's two repeats, I would divide out by 2 factorial. Or in other words, we know that 8 factorial was 40,320, and 2 factorial is 2 times 1, so 2. So let's divide by 2, which gives me that there's really only 20,160 ways to arrange geometry with the repeats. Okay. So permutations with repeats the way it sets up to be. Um, permutations with repeats, the number of permutations of n objects of which p are alike and q are alike is, okay, so just saying that whatever is in your, what you divide by whatever is repeating. Okay, so let's just look at another example. Mississippi, how many ways can the letters of the word Mississippi be arranged? Well, first of all, there is, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 letters in Mississippi. So I would have 11 factorial, the number of letters in the word Mississippi. And then I would look at my repeats. Well, who repeats here? M doesn't, but I does. And I repeats four times. And then there's S that repeats, and that also repeats four times. And then P repeats twice. So I would divide by how many times it repeats factorial. So 4 factorial, 4 factorial, and lastly, 2 factorial. Um, so you can type this one in on your calculator. Here's my recommendation once you find your factorial sign. Make sure you put whatever's in the denominator in parentheses. When you do this, you get 34,650 ways to arrange those letters. Combinations. Um, let's go ahead and stop the notes today. We'll do combinations tomorrow in class. Um, just one thing to keep in mind is we just did permutations where order does matter, but with our combinations, order does not matter. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pause the video here for today. Um, please go back onto Schoology and take the video quiz. Um, I will see you tomorrow. Have a nice night.